Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got this uh, little quick one here for you. We've got a 2010 Town & Country, just put a transmission in. And it's got that 62 TE transmission, and it has no dipstick. And you gotta have this little guy here. I think Miller Tools makes it. Oh, right in the schnoz. But it's the big jabroni dipstick with the graduations on it. And according to the instructions, uh, when you do these, you know, you got to look up the fluid chart and the temperature range and plug in your scan tool, blah, 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 because they didn't put a dipstick on it. And what sucks is I want to give this back to the customer. So it's got a rebuilt training in it. And uh, this customer is pretty handy. He usually does a lot of his own work. And I, you know, I'm the driver for a little while. And he's like, well, can I bring it back? Have you checked the fluid? Sure. But it's a huge pain in the neck because, I mean, it's not a huge pain in the neck, but the fact is, he doesn't have his own dipstick or he check his own fluid. So today, we're going to be giving you guys free tip. So it's free tip Friday on a Monday, and uh, it's kind of a life hack, so stick around. So in case you're not familiar, this is where the dipstick used to be back in the olden days. Now we've just got a plug that says for dealer use only. They make you go back to the man, uh, but we're not going to. And I'm going to make it so he can check his own fluid without the special $70 dipstick and special range chart. I mean, come on, guys. Ridiculous. This baby has a dipstick built in. Time to modify. So piece of cake. All we need is a ruler and a marker and like a file or a cutoff wheel or something that we can scribe. The engine oil dipstick with so this is just your standard engine oil dipstick we're going to use the blank side for the transmission uh so i've got the temperature chart and technically look how stupid this is you're supposed to plug in a scan tool get the transmission exact temperature find it on the chart the fact of the matter is it's still just like the old cars like transmissions have been since the beginning of time we've got a low temperature so a 70 degree temperature minimum maximum mark and then we've got our normal operating temperature which is 200 degrees Fahrenheit min and max mark all right I don't care about anything in between uh, and it's not rocket surgery so you know if whatever so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna mark our own marks on this dipstick so the customer has his own his own dipstick so he can check his own stinking oil just like we always could when we were young uh, so at 70 degrees the minimum mark is like 3.8 millimeters but we're gonna call it five so we're gonna go from five to 15 millimeters that's gonna be the min and the max so we'll come right here on the back side we're gonna mark five so that's five little marks and then we're gonna mark 15 all right so that is our cold mark minimum and maximum and then um, so it's 5 and 15 and then on the high side when the transmission is fully warmed up at 200 degrees Fahrenheit we go from 40 to about 55 so we'll come up here we'll mark 40 it's gonna be our minimum 55 is gonna be our maximum there we are simple as that boom however Sharpie's not gonna last long I'm going to use a little cutoff wheel. You could probably use a file, but I'm just going to scribe a little mark in here. There we go. We got it. So there we go. I just, uh, I roughed up the center section of it a little bit with a file so it has a little bit of a crosshatch on it. Let me uh, put something there so you guys can see what the thunder is going on. Well, let's see if I can learn how to do this. So hopefully you can see that. Um, I just left the, uh, I left some marker on there for you guys so you can see. Let me get, let me get a better view here. So there's the marks on the dipstick. Now I just took a little, uh, little Sharpie and stuck it in the grooves because I figured they would be hard to see uh, on the camera. And then I just roughed up the center of it in between the high and the low mark on the hot. 
and on the cold just scratch it up a little bit with a file so it's got its own little crosshatch oil will stick to it better and now the little guy can check his own oil so to come over the car we'll pull the dealer only cap off in there we've got our homemade dipstick not really homemade but our own marked engine oil dipstick ready to roll the engine or the transmission is cold right now I just brought it in it's well, it's not really cold it's like 60 out today so it's whew, scorcher uh, so theoretically uh, like I said I just put this transmission in like I don't know, a couple weeks ago uh, so we should be somewhere between the high and low range here on our marked stick or somewhere is there in between but not quite to the hot yet how's that how's that for a technical chart uh, go ahead and start it up Hannah run it through the gears and then um, tell me what you got back So with these, you just push the dipstick in until it hits the bottom of the pan, and then that's it. You stick it on in, pull her out, and there we are. We're just above the hot mark on the uh, high to low cold range. So that's good. We'll check it again just for accuracy. Push it in until it hits. Pull her back out, and you can see we are just slightly above that mark. So, theoretically, if we go and drive this thing around, we'll get her up between the high and the low. But the best part is, now the guy has his own dipstick, and it's conveniently stored right there. All right, shut off, man. All right, guys, that's it. The Chrysler 62 TE transmission dipstick hack. No need to pay the man when you've got a dipstick already on your vehicle. I uh, just need the temperature chart and uh, the one we had. Uh, I'm not sure years and all that stuff, but the 62T was pretty popular in these caravans and I assume the temperature chart is similar or the same for most of them. But do some checking on that. If you can find a temperature chart for your specific vehicle or Chrysler transmission without the dipstick, that just drives me bananas. Perhaps you can use your engine oil dipstick too and mark it, inscribe it, you know, either using a file or whatever it is you have. And then that way there you don't have to go to the dealer to have your transmission oil checked. As silly as that sounds. So, all right guys, thanks for watching.